Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yolan and I am a zero-based cash budgeter. In today's video, I am doing a cash unstuffing for the items that I had spent this week and I need to take that money to put it back on my card. So it wasn't a busy week. Um, there are some large expenses which I wanna pull out right away so I can know how much I have left in those envelopes and so that I can start over. So. Let's just get into it. One of the large ones was my holiday envelope, and that's in my long-term sinking funds binder. And I'm going to have to pull from birthdays because one of the charges was for $206.86. And let's see, I have 120, 30, 40, 50, 50. I'm also going to pull from hubby's folder envelope because it was his birthday and so let's say we have 206 wait so we're 207 and we have 150 so I need to come up with $57 for that charge so let's see what hubby has he has $20 and then the last envelope I'm going to pull from gifts and that's because I didn't get him a gift this year um actually I'm going to leave it in gifts so I'll come I'll pull the $37 from another envelope but we're just going to move on to the next charge because there's another charge where I bought him a cake so this was just for food and we're going to go to groceries because I spent $114.60 at Walmart and I'm just gonna pull out 115. So we have 20, 40, 60, 81, 10, and 15. So that had the exact amount in it. So I'm happy about that. And I just highlight it as I go. The 544 for CVS, it's for their, annual, their monthly subscription. And I'm just going to pull that out of miscellaneous. I think I moved miscellaneous. I'm actually going to move my miscellaneous envelope into my short-term sinking funds binder because I'm trying not to dip into this as much. And I only dip into it once a month for this um, charge. And I'm going to start unstuffing, rolling over, unstuffing my bills and my cash envelopes and not my sinking fund. So there's $10 here. It was $5.44. I'm just going to put $5 back in the envelope because I had the extra change from the, 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 um, the groceries. So I'm happy with having $15 left. And I'm going to quickly put this into my short-term sinking funds binder. Okay, so that is for my CDS charge. And I just, I do the monthly because if you pay the $5.44 for the monthly, they give you $10 in extra bucks every month. So um, it's a win-win because I buy something from CVS every month. So it's worth it for me but so if you guys don't have that then definitely check it out so it's spend six dollars for the monthly subscription and you'll get ten dollars every month next would be my uber charge and it was one for 1909 sorry 1209 and it was one trip and i'm just going to take that out of my uber envelope and i'll take out the i need to make single somewhere let's see I'll make singles in my pet fund. Let's see how much I have here. I think this is five, 10, and I'll put the $10 back. And so it was $12 in Uber. I took out all that money, wow. I'm gonna take the 10, I'll take out 20 and put seven back. 
because I'm just going to roll up to the 13. Okay, so that was for Uber. The next two charges are my pets for my pets envelope. And that's cat food and treats. And that's also in my short term sinking funds binder. And I pull from this binder once a month. And it was 4402. And the next charge was 2555. And so it's 60, 69, 57. I'm just going to pull out 70. So 20, 40, 60, 70. Maybe I'll pull out some of these fives. There we go. And 5, 10, 15, 20. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so that's for these two charges. Actually, so it's three orders. I'm gonna pull $5, three online orders, and I forgot to list it here because I usually list it underneath all the charges. So I'm pulling $10 out of my pet's envelopes to put into my online shopping challenge. And then I have to pull $5 out of my grocery envelope to put into my online shopping challenge. So I'll just go back to that envelope. And pull out. Um, I kind of wanted to leave the singles. I'll pull out the singles, so five singles. Actually, I'm gonna leave the singles. I will take out a 10 and put back in a five. And so now groceries has 20, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40 dollars. And that is it. The last charge for the 7774, I'm going to pull that out of a long-term sinking funds. And since birthday is pretty much depleted, um, I don't want to pull out what I have in here, which is $10 is because I started saving for my niece's birthday and I don't want to have to reprint out a new tracker. So I'm going to pull that from, I'll pull it from the gifts and then I'll just restart that one. So that will be 10, 20, 30, 35. And yeah, that's it. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to think about it. I'm going to think about it. I'm not going to take it out yet, but I'm going to think about it. Either way, I'm going to make sure that my credit card is paid off at the end of the month. And yeah, and it's just the 7774. I might end up having to pull it out of my paycheck for uh, my first paycheck of August automatically, but I'm going to make sure that it's paid off. So what's going back to the bank this trip is, and I usually don't do that. I'll just pull from each envelope but um it was a special occasion so I'm not upset about the fact that I had to spend it I don't think this week was a bad week I had a couple of no spend days and then you guys know for last week I pretty much didn't spend much I think I bought a printable from mommy trader and I think that was it. I think it was just the printable. I did put, end up taking extra funds out of my groceries because we I, I took the money out of my groceries envelope before we went to the grocery store. Um, and so that's why that's why my grocery envelope would be a little bit less than what you guys saw the last time. But I didn't spend on the 14th, the 15th, the 16th, and the 18th. So four no spend days. Four 
no spend days this week and that's pretty good so what's going back is 120 40 60 80 200 20 40 60 70 80 90 300 10 20 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 61 62 63 64 65 so 365 and that is a pretty good week i noticed that the weeks that i do a lot of spendings are my first and the third week and i'm trying to work on that but um this was pretty decent this was yep this was an okay okay week so for no spend days i know there are a couple of large charges but i'm happy about it let me know what you guys are doing um especially to combat the groceries because this was just an online order for walmart so it doesn't really have like meats and stuff like that and I don't know groceries are high so and this wasn't even toiletries it was just pretty much i think it only had like three items in it so that's that i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you like this video please consider please give me a thumbs up um also consider subscribing to this channel um i appreciate you guys so much i'm so happy for you guys I'm so happy to have you guys in this and be in this community and i can't wait to get the community tab so that i can start engaging with you guys more this time around i'm only putting 15 dollars into my online savings challenge but it's some it's better than nothing and i pull that out on a weekly basis especially when i place an online order i'll just pull it out of the same envelope and if you have any questions please leave them down below and i will see you guys next time bye guys